Hi, so this is just a very quick uh, lesson to talk about the kind of things, a couple of little things that might be getting in the way of your fluidity when you're playing individual notes or scales or lead guitar type stuff. Using a very simple exercise. And so on and so forth. So just a couple of times or four times through the first four frets on each string, um, individual notes with only one finger fretting each note that you're playing. Um, the kind of thing that you might hear when you're playing this thing, if you're just starting out, where you're trying to go for the notes all bleeding into each other so there's no gaps between them. That sort of thing. And you might be hearing... where there's a gap between each of the notes. And that might be happening for a couple of reasons. You might be doing one of two things. You might even be doing both of them without realizing. The kind of thing that, that, that I see most often when people are trying to do this is, first of all, if you're putting each finger down earlier than you need to. So the, the, the note is that the rhythm should be one, two, three, four. And what you're playing is one, two, three, four. And you can see my fingers going down a little bit earlier there. And the reason for that is, you know, you're not confident that you can be accurate with it. So you're trying to get it in there as quickly as possible or as early as possible so that it's ready in time to play the note. The idea is that you're doing three things at the same time. The first thing you're doing is putting your finger down on the next note. The second thing you're doing is lifting the finger that was playing the previous note. And the third thing you're trying to do at the same time is pick through the string. So one, two, three. And you can see that for each new note, three things are happening at the same time. My finger is going down, my finger is coming up, and my pick is going through the string. So a little sort of exercise to maybe help you get that down to try to stop your fingers going down earlier than they need to is to take take your right hand away from the string and not pick the string for a couple of moments and then just for a couple of bars tap the two notes together. First of all, we're going to take each pair of notes. Okay, rather than playing all four, we're going to take the first two notes and we're going to play one, two, three, four. So without picking the note, try just tapping it out in time. And you'll find that without picking the note, that your second finger, each finger will go down only when, it's, when it needs to. When your fingers are going down in time with your metronome, then add the pick. And if you start doing that again, putting your finger down too early, go back to just tapping the strings in time and then add the pick stroke. OK, and then do that with the next pair of notes Two, one, two, one, two, And when that's going down in time, add the pick stroke. OK, and just follow that through. You can do exactly the same thing with the major scale. So you can do one, two, and you're looking for the notes to bleed into each other. But if you find you're doing that sort of thing, pick the first two notes and tap them out in time. And when you can feel that your fingers are hitting in time with your metronome, then add the pick stroke in. Okay, do that four, six, eight times, then move on to the next pair, which will take you across the strings. And then add in the pick stroke when your fingers are tapping in time. Okay, so that's one way to stop your fingers hitting too early. The second thing that you might find happening is on your right hand, where you might find that even if your fingers are going down on the strings at the right time, you might find that there's a gap building in because your pick, if you watch what I'm doing with the pick hand here on the right hand, is that having picked the first note, the pick is then you're bringing the pick back to rest on the string before you have to pick the next note. So you're picking and then coming back to rest and then picking the next note. So that can get in the way of the notes being fluid. It can stop the first note too early before the second note starts. So you get a gap between them. 
the thing to think about is that your pick should never really be rest. There are times when you want your pick to rest on the string, but in this particular exercise and to get fluidity in your scales and in your individual string practices, um, and so that you can learn how to build fluidity, obviously, into your lead guitar when you get there, is that the pick shouldn't be resting on the string. It should be hovering above the string and then at the right time should just travel through the string and pick. So I'm bringing this, the, the pick back above the string, but I'm not resting it on the string in anticipation of the pick. I'm just picking through from empty space to empty space at the right time. Okay, and similarly with the major scale, my pick is coming back above the string, and then at the right time it's just picking through. And the practice of having it hovering above and then just picking through the string at the right time is all about getting the rhythm and the timing and the practice of getting that uh, so that your pick happens at exactly the moment that the second finger goes down or the next finger goes down on the, on the fret and the first finger lifts up so that all three of those things are happening at exactly the same time. Something to think about, a little bit more difficult, just notice if your pick hand is coming back and bringing the pick to rest on the strings. That's something you need to avoid, have it hover above and go through. And if your fingers are hitting the strings earlier than your metronome is clicking, then that's, that's an exercise that will help you take the pick away. And that's an exercise that will help you to bring those fingers under control so that they drop onto the next note at the right time and not in advance of the string. Okay, a couple of things to think about there. That should help you fluidity. Have a go with that and enjoy.